The problem you have now, there is a large group of people arising in this country are going to shut it down. You know what it means shut down? Close it off. Strike Australia wide. Send you broke. And you are going to go back under our state constitution, like it or lump it. When all the state constitutions are back in place, then finally we can have the first sitting of the first lawful federal parliament. What am I telling you? The lot of you are bird brains. You've been running a country with an unlawful parliament. The Chinese know it. I know that. So do other countries, and they laugh at you. You have been lying to and misleading this country for long enough. That time is finished. The time for you to pull your head in. There is going to be an Australia-wide strike. It's going to block you all off. Do I know who's running it? Yes. Do I have to tell you? No, because they're not committing an offence. They're doing it under Clause 61 of Magna Carta. I have to reveal to you indictable offences. I'm revealing them. Yours. Yours. You are the criminals. Everything you've done and said in this country is a crime. You've lied, you've cheated, and you idiots have created Torrens titles. Torrens himself was a lunatic who thought he could overturn imperial law. You just think, oh, look at that, the statute of Westminster removes the Colonial Laws Validity Act and all these others. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because the Parliament of Britain, if they pass the Statute of Westminster, which they claim they did, it's only a statute, but it doesn't override the Commonwealth Constitution Act, 1900 UK, a letters patent. Only one sitting person at any time can change that, the reigning monarch. You understand that? Comprehend it then. Comprehend that you have no authority. Comprehend that the people are the authority. That nonsense about the voice in South Australia, that's blatant treason. What have you done about that? Nothing. What should you be doing at? Suck the South Australian government and tell those clowns they're not taking people's land because Fijo versus the Northern Territory says they can't. It says they can't. The land's held in fee simple. And it's the crown in right of the people, not in right of the states or the parliament or anything else. It's the crown in right of the people. Understand that. When are you going to wake up? This joint is going to be shut down. So peanuts like you can be thrown out of our parliament. Just go on the internet and see what the farmers have done in other countries. And what they do, spray them with urine and cow's waste. Looks good. I don't suggest they do that. I'm not even insinuating they do it. I'm saying, do exactly what you intend doing. John Wilson, I agree with you. Shut this place down. The unions have done it for years to hold up our walls and do everything else. And these peanuts in our parliament have done nothing. Let's see if you can try and do something when we shut the country down. We the people. I say we when I'm referring to the people of this country have the right to shut it down because it says whereas the people of New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Western Australia join together in one indissoluble federation of the Commonwealth of Australia. You're trying to dissolve it by stealth, by lies, by treachery, by theft, by treason and war on the crown of England. You're not getting it. So we the people are going to shut you down. Don't like it? Tough. And any of you that have got anything between your legs or between your ears, wake up if you don't stand up. These peanuts have taken everything you've got. 